Hello friends, welcome to Code Crush Coding. Welcome to the another demo project for the HTML. So you see this web page that I have created. This is created only with the help of HTML. No CSS properties are used in this project. So basically on this website we do have one image which is the logo image for Code Crush. Apart from that we have used one background image and there are some anchor tag links and heading. So this is the basic project that we are going to create in this video. So if you want some another images in the background or you want some logo images so you just need to go on the Google and just type the pixels pixels free images. So this is the website where you can get the free images without getting any copyright issues. So this is the website. So once you click on there you can choose the photos of your category. So let's try to create this website now. So let me go in my sublime text editor. So here I have one myproject.html file. So let's get the HTML template first. So I will type HTML. So this is the template for the HTML. Let's give title to this project as my project. So this is my project. If I try to run this open in browser. So currently we are getting the title of the project my project and currently we are not getting anything on the web page as we have not done anything right now. So first thing that we want to do here is we want to add this background image. So how we can add this background image. So I do have this background image backdemo.gpg file in my machine which is located in the same location where I am writing my code. So this image I want to use. So let me go in my code and I will say here inside the body tag I will say background. So background and I will provide the name of that file. The name of the file was it was back backdemo.jpg file so backdemo.jpg you need to provide the if you have image on different location then you need to provide the entire path okay so once I save this let me check now if I refresh the browser so see I'm getting your image so let me do one adjustment here so whenever you add some image at the background so always remember to use one property so in body tag I will say before that I need to introduce a style tag introduce style tag style and inside that style I will say body as my background image is placed inside the body tag and I will say background size background size cover so it will adjust the image as per the size let me show you the difference now so currently it is showing the image in this format once i refresh the page so see it's getting displayed in this format so it's looking much better now the background image so we have added the background image so what we want to add now we want to add this logo here so let me show you the image that i have so this is the image i have so i need to adjust the height and width of this image so it will be smaller here on the web page so let's add that image here in our my project so how we can add that image so inside the body you need to add image tag img and you need to provide here the name of the image the name of the image was it says code crush logo dot jpg so code crush logo dot jpg let me run this so currently we are getting the image in the original format so let's make the adjustment of height and width so let's say height 80 pixel and width is also 80 pixel let's save this refresh now so see we are getting the image in this format so our logo is also added now after logo we need to add this link so basically these are the anchor tags so five anchor tags are used here so let's add them so before that here we need to add the anchor tag we don't want to navigate it to another page so we will provide a blank and let's say home copy paste this we want five links so home video study material contact about us home videos study material contact
and about us. Let's check how it looks on our web page now. So see currently here we are getting these tags, home videos, study material, contact and about us. Let's make the color of anchor tag. So here we can say a anchor tag and we will style it color. Let's provide yellow color because it will be visible to our background. Refresh. So see we are getting these tags here. So what we want, we want some space between this logo and we want it the links to be displayed on another side. So as we are not using any CSS property here, so there is one feature and NBSP property of HTML due to which what we can do, we can add some space. So NBSP and let me copy this, paste it. I have pasted it many times here, but see uh, how many spaces we are getting here. So see only this much spaces we are getting here. So we will need to paste it multiple times to have more effect on our web page. So let me copy paste the things now. Let me see. Okay, so still in the middle, we will add more spaces here. Now we will check. Yeah, it's looking better now and we also want to add some spaces between these uh, tags also. So that also, let's say I have to copy this part. We will add in similar way the spaces between the tags. So in between each tag, we will add this. And if we run now, let me add more space here. So as per your adjustment, you can make use of this. I'm just making adjustments here. Okay, so this S is not actually visible with the background color. So before that, I will add more spaces. To add more space there. See, it's looking better now home video study material contact us and about us after that we need to add this heading here welcome to code crush tutorial so that is basically a heading so we can add so here we can say heading h1 welcome to code crush it's a coding code crush coding save it now if you try to check in our my project refresh the so here we are getting so we need to add it to the center so we can directly add here style and we can set text align to center so if you see here so we are getting it in center but we want some space in between this so we can make use of break tag so break is used to break our content to the next line so let's copy me more times here let's see the change now yeah, it's looking better now welcome to code crush coding so after this heading what we want we want this links like whenever users select any of html python css so in similar way we need to add your anchor tag again anchor tag let's say html you copy paste this And here we will have CSS, Python, let's run this now, my project, so see we are getting these images here, so what we want to do, we want to add the space now, so we can add the space in similar way like we have done earlier, so let's add that space here, we'll copy paste the things. Let's try to add this space here. I think we need to add more space now. Okay. 
Okay, let's add a few more spaces. Yeah, it's looking better now HTML, CSS, Python. So it's looking in the same format as this website was. So yeah, there are more improvements uh, should be there in this project. You can try on your own. I just wanted to integrate the anchor tag, logo images, background image, heading concept in one video. So that's why I pick up this demo project. We will have more demo projects on HTML. And once we create, uh, completed with CSS tutorial, so we will have combined projects for both of them. So that's it in this video. We will cover another topics in next video. Thank you for watching.